I got this pair. These are their 90s straight low rise. That's that's a look right there. Everybody's at Coachella. Like, do we not deserve some fun? I think <laughs> the guy wouldn't like let us take a picture of us trying in, them on. In gold. They were perfect. Is what we're looking for. Happy Easter, you guys. Hello vlog, just got back from the gym. Oh, if you guys remember that orange Amazon workout set that I unboxed a little while ago, this is the same set, because I never tried it on for the vlog, but this is the same set, but in the red. I went back and I got another color because I'm obsessed. But yeah, just got back from the gym and I'm shooting with Michelle tomorrow. And it's been a while since I've actually like done myself up for a shoot, like done an actual full on beauty prep. So I thought I would do that today. First thing I'm gonna do is get some kind of treatment in my hair. It's just looking really dull. It definitely needs to be colored. I don't think anything's gonna like fully rescue it right now, but I have some stuff that can enhance it. I'm gonna be using the Marilyn hair treatment from Lush. This stuff's so good if you're blonde. It doesn't turn your hair silver no matter how long you leave it in. That's why I really like it, but. Mm. Smoothie is so good. Anybody's head get really itchy after they've been working out and sweating. I think also I'm super itchy because of my hat. I haven't worn a hat to the gym in a while. Let's go ahead and start doing my hair. Do I have a clip though to put my hair up in? I guess I'll just have to, yes I do. Okay, perfect. Since I last saw you, you guys, it's a good thing we made it back from San Diego with no problems because the next morning my neighbor texted us, my car had leaked all of its oil, like literally all the oil in my car's gone. So I can't use my car right now, Just super annoying. Luckily, Trevor's on spring break right now. So he took me to the gym. We just worked out at the same time. And then for the shoot tomorrow, we had already planned to shoot here in Newport Beach. Well, for those of you who are new, I live in Costa Mesa, which is right next to Newport Beach. I'm definitely getting to that season where I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time in Newport Beach. In fact, this weekend, I'm going to be in Newport Beach pretty much all weekend. But yeah, Michelle is just going to pick me up for that shoot. I'm just going to take one car because obviously mine doesn't work. And also the parking there can get a little bit pricey depending on how long we stay. So at least split that with her. Oops, like dripping blonde hair treatment everywhere. Saturate the ends. Oh gosh, I was afraid how watery this treatment is. But yeah, it's Easter on Sunday and my parents, we used to do like those really like themed Easter brunches, but I guess that was just for when I was younger because they wanted to just go to Rock and Baja, which is a seafood place. They do like lobster buckets and stuff. So that's, what we do now that I'm older. So yeah, we'll be meeting my parents there. It's over on Newport Pier. But tomorrow, Michelle and I are just shooting in Lido Marina Village, via Lido, however you wanna call it. I am running low on this hair treatment. I have to get a new container. It's just a little expensive, it's like 30 bucks. Which I mean, isn't like that bad, but also at the same time, it's more than I would prefer to spend. <laughs> but it's worth it, it really is. I love the way this brightens my blonde. But yeah, it's been like a really long time since we shot in Marina Lido. I think it was like fall was the last time we shot there, so it'll be nice to go back. It's definitely the season too. We tend to not go in the winter because it's just, it's not the vibe for winter, obviously. It's a marina, so it's, you know, when it comes to winter, boats and the sea and stuff isn't really like, the vibe that we're going for, but for spring slash summer content, it definitely works. Put my hair up. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want to oh, no. My hands are slippery from the hair treatment. I can't, I can't even hold that. One second. Please don't slip. Please don't slip. Ow. Okay, there we go. I'll just leave this in my hair for I mean, minimum 30 minutes, but I'll probably just wear it for a little while. I'm drinking my smoothie. I still want to make tacos. And then also, I actually got in 
a couple of new bottoms from Abercrombie. I know everyone loves Abercrombie right now. So let me go ahead and try that on. I'll show you guys what I got. Really quick before we get into the Abercrombie stuff, Bliss sent me their new Mighty Biome products. These are like pre and postbiotic products with a barrier aid. That's kind of cool. And these are fragrance free. So if you're sensitive to fragrances, this could be a good line for you. But look at this. I was so excited. I was not expecting this at all. They sent me the Mighty Biome Skin Balancing Milky Toner and Serum. Definitely going to try this after my shower. And then they also sent me their Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer Concentrate. I do want to do a face mask, but I think afterwards we'll try this out. And then also their Deep Cleansing Balm, which I love a good deep cleansing balm. I'm not wearing makeup right now, so I'll probably save this for another time, but I love having another one on hand. So can't wait to try this. Thank you so much to Bliss Beauty for sending me this. I'm really, really excited for all of this. I got two new bottoms from Amber Crombie. The first one are a pair of black shorts. These are their mid-rise shorts. I sized up in these. These are the boyfriend shorts in the Curve Love. And I'm really glad that I sized up in these because you guys will see, they actually fit perfectly. So if you are interested in these, definitely size up because they run a little bit small. So here are the shorts. Really cute. They're like this distressed ripped pair. They fit super nicely. So yeah, like I said, if you're interested in these, I really, really suggest sizing up. I mean, the waist is fine, but it's more through the hips and stuff that it's a little bit tight and that's with it being curve love. So for sure, especially if you're in between sizes, consider going up one, but I do like the way they fit and I'm trying to debate if I want to style these for tomorrow. I had my outfits already picked, but now that I have these new bottoms in, I kind of want to shoot them but anyways the next pair the name is going to be surprising and we've been over this so actually it shouldn't be that surprising but as we know i got a pair of shorts from abercrombie not that long ago and it turned out that they were low rise but they weren't actually like the low rise that we knew back in the day so they actually more fit like mid rise and i decided i wanted to try out some jeans so i got this pair these are their 90s straight low rise and i went true to size on these so this is sized up one and these are true to size. And unlike my other Abercrombie jeans, like the dad jeans and the 90s baggy jeans, these ones have a zipper crotch. So a little bit different, but I'll try these on for you guys. Here are the low rise. This is a 29 short. Again, I went true to size. I'm glad that I did. I like the way that it fits. I feel like I wish I had never sized up in the dad jeans just because they feel really, really baggy on me sometimes. So I like the more fitted look with these. I'm glad that I just kept my regular size. The waist fits really good. These are curve love as well. Then we have a little knee cutout. Length is really good on these because obviously I got the short ones since I am petite. But yeah, and you know, the waist is right at my belly button. These are definitely more of a mid-rise. I'm sure I could like scooch them down to be low-rise, but I don't want to do that. But yeah, these are really, really good. I love this pair. This might be my favorite pair. Maybe not. I do have another pair of Amber Crombie jeans. I don't think you guys have seen. They're like a 70s flare, and those are really, really flattering too. So I think between this and that, they're kind of tied for my favorites. And then I love the dad jeans. I mean, I have three pairs of the dad jeans, but I'm starting to feel like I prefer the more fitted styles just because they're more flattering. They show off all the work I've been doing. But I do plan on filming an Amber Crombie jeans fit guide for you guys. So now that I have a bunch of different Abercrombie jeans and all the different rises, a few different styles, I was going to do a little guide for you guys, show you all the Abercrombie jeans that I own, what I recommend for different body types and what I recommend sizing wise in certain styles, because some styles I would suggest sizing up, others I would suggest, you know, staying true to size and stuff like that. So maybe I'll film that this weekend so I can have that up for you guys next. Not entirely sure. I'm not promising that, but if not this week, definitely the next few weeks, I will film that guide for anyone who's been curious about like the different fits and rises and everything for amber crombie jeans hello we're back i'm gonna derma plane up my face before i do a face mask just so that my skin is nice and exfoliated and can absorb all of the benefits of the face mask I'm about to do. Also, my eyes are so dry. If they're red, it's because they're dry. I swear to God, I haven't taken a gummy or anything. Maybe I will. Trevor just left. He and our guy friends are having a guy's night. So they're gonna go off and have fun, which is perfect. Cause then I kind of get the night to myself to do my little beauty prep and then style all of my outfits. Oh my gosh, that's so much peach fuzz. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's like, a lot. I haven't dermaplaned my face in so long. 
It's such a build up. Let's clean up my brows a little bit while we're here, you know? Clean up the shape. I'm like at the point where my lamination has worn off, but in the interest of keeping my brown hairs healthy and not drying them out too much, I have to like still wait another couple weeks. But maybe I'll schedule an appointment now that my brow girl is back. I'm still so happy. Like I was so bummed that one time I tried to schedule with her and there were no openings, but it's fine. She's back for good. So maybe I'll get an appointment scheduled because my brows just, they're not looking that cute. Wow. So much peach fuzz. It's literally been probably a couple of months since I last did this. I'd also love to get a touch of all my Botox. My chin dimples are back. I'm going back and forth on that because I may get Botox at my friend's bachelorette in June. More than likely, we'll be getting Botox then. And I feel like if I get it in the next couple of months, that might be too close together. I don't know. Honestly, I probably shouldn't right now because I gotta get my car fixed. I'm so mad about that. I was like, can I catch a break? <laughs> Honestly, like, I was so upset. I was about to pay off freaking Cabo and just, like, have that bachelorette trip squared away. And now I'm like, well, I gotta wait before I can pay it off because I need to see if the repairs on my car will be covered or not. How am I feeling? Feels good. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna do a little face mask. I totally forgot about this mask. I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays r, &R mask. I just remembered it because I put in a Sephora order during the Sephora spring sale. And I ordered their overtime mask, and I'm really excited to try that. I've been wanting to try that for years. I had totally forgot this for a spring sale was happening. I actually ended up placing three orders because I kept finding things that I wanted, and I actually have a couple of the orders now, but I'm gonna do that in one big haul for you guys, probably in the next vlog. I'm still waiting on one more package to come in, and then once I have everything, I will show you everything I got from Sephora because I got some really good stuff. A lot of things I'm excited to try. I noticed I just I haven't been as into trying new makeup over the last couple years. I don't know what it is. Like new makeup and new skincare, I haven't been super into unless it's sent to me, but I haven't really been like into going out and trying to like purchase new skincare and stuff. I think it's because I'm very happy with my current routine. So I'm just constantly rebuying the same shit, but decided to venture out a little bit for makeup for the sale and get myself some new products. Sorry, I keep going off screen, but my mirror's there. I just realized I could have moved it in this whole time <laughs> to make this a little bit better, but whatever. Okay, I know for next time. I think I'm set. So what the mask looks like. It's just a clear mask and it's got like all of these little dried rose pieces in here, but it really, really makes your skin super, super soft and it gives it like an instant beautiful glow. Like it's insane. And then you leave this mask on for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll go style some outfits right now. Why not? And by some, I mean two. I am doing something I don't usually do when I'm throwing out all of my planned outfits out the window. I think I'm gonna start from scratch. That sounds insane, but that's what I'm feeling. I'm not feeling the outfits I had originally planned. So yeah, we're gonna brainstorm some new outfits for me to shoot tomorrow. So one of the outfits I was gonna shoot tomorrow was this dress. It's really cute on, but I may get a package in tomorrow. So I may want to shoot a different dress, but I'll keep this one on backup. So I would do it with these shoes from Shoe Dazzle. I'm obsessed with these. They're so cute. Can't get enough. So I would do those two together and probably do that with my Louis. But if not, I think I would do the same shoes with the other dress if it comes in. Although, should I do that one? I don't want to give, like, too much of a preview for that package. I ordered from Paxan for, like, the first time since high school, I think. So I was going to do a video for you guys of, like, keep a return. I may want to shoot one of those dresses tomorrow, assuming I like it. It's supposedly going to arrive tomorrow. It may not even make it in time. I'll, I'll probably end up shooting this one. I mean, I should. It's a really cute dress. I don't know. We'll see. The reason why I'm changing is because now I want to shoot my Amber Crombie stuff, so the shorts, oh gosh, come back, that, plus I need a top, okay, we're gonna scratch the shorts, I've decided I'm gonna shoot the jeans, because I've been wanting to shoot 
the black version of the cotton on twist tank and I think that that would be really cute with these low rise jeans. Again, I will forever put that in quotes because these are not low rise, which I'm not mad at. I don't want to wear low rise. This would be cute. Very simple, but like I'm feeling it. Question is if I want to do sneakers with this or if I want to do heels, make it fancy. And I don't feel like I've bought so much stuff lately, but I can't think of anything new that I'm dying to shoot. But okay, so that's one outfit. Actually, that's two outfits completed. And then I think because it is kind of cool, maybe I'll do one shorts and sweatshirt look. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna make this a really easy shoot on myself. Why not? So I'm gonna do this cute cow sweatshirt that I cannot stop wearing. This sweatshirt and this sweatshirt, I've been wearing nonstop, you guys. Mainly off camera, because I try to like switch up what I'm wearing when I'm on camera so you guys don't see me in the same thing every single day, even though 100% that's usually what I'm doing. Cow sweatshirt the white shorts that would be adorable I need to do shoes so I think for the jeans I was originally gonna do sneakers but I think I'm gonna do I have like my Steve Madden mules I think I'll do those and then for this one probably my Nikes so let me go grab those should probably clean the Nikes they are looking rough but I think I'll go with those and then these two Madame Mules that I wore the other day on the little date night with Trevor. And I think that that's it. Oh, I should do purses. Well, I'm going to do the Louis with this one. Louis with this one. And I'll probably just do no purse here. You know, that'll be cute. And then just maybe I'll do my Elastivas. I haven't used these. Okay, sorry. The camera died. But we've made revelations since then. I think I'm going to go with this top with the jeans. It goes really cute together. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I barely squeezed into this top. This is a little preview. This is one of the things I ordered from PacSun. It came in a couple days ago, so when you see the PacSun video, pretend you haven't seen this. I mean, obviously, as far as keeper return goes, if I'm gonna shoot it, I'm gonna keep it. But yeah, I it's so tight right now. I, uh, I'm stuffed to the brim with three tacos and a protein shake right now. So I am 100% at my most bloated moment, but I think because of that, this will be the first outfit I put on, you know, skinniest point of the day. And then I'll transition into these other ones. So I'm gonna nix this one. And I'll probably do these with the shoes from the first outfit. Oh God, there you go, these ones. But yeah, so that way I only have to bring two pairs of shoes. <laughs> Anyways, two pairs of shoes only. And then I'm only gonna bring my Louie. Ooh, or, or, oh my God, would this be cute? Is this a moment? Is this a moment? This might be a moment. I might bring this one because that's that's a look right there with those shoes. Okay, so maybe this bag, my Louis. Now I'll do the Louis with the first outfit and the third outfit. Nikes with the third outfit. Those printed mules with the first and second outfits. Perfect. Okay. All set. I'm only doing three looks tomorrow because I don't think we need to do any more than that. Ooh, or, or, or. Game changer. Maybe I'll do white boots with this. Right? Right? Oh, okay, I think that this is it. This is it for this one. Okay, we're going to do the white boots. Oh, God. Okay, bending over really tough in that okay and then again this is a question mark if the rest of the packs and stuff comes in tomorrow i might swap this for one of the dresses in that order and oh my god you guys my nipple already fell out of this once so like i really am just hanging on in here for dear life once i've digested the tacos by tomorrow i'm hoping that this is gonna be a lot more comfortable but i thought it'd be cute with the waist on the low rise jeans uh, okay anyways i'm gonna wash my mask off and let's try a couple of the products that bliss sent me i washed the face mask off and i don't think camera doesn't do it justice just how glowy my skin is now like it looks so healthy and smooth and it just has this like nice radiance honestly that face mask it's expensive it's like 60 bucks but it's worth it i've had this for literally years and it still lasts so it's definitely worth the money let's go ahead and try out a couple of these products 
first one that I'm going to try is the Milky Toner and Serum. I like that it's a toner and serum in one. And this is supposed to defend with benefits. This milky pH balance formula powered by prebiotic beta-glucan and postbiotic lactococcus ferment lysate helps strengthen skin's natural protective layer and support your healthy microbiome. This definitely goes like hand in hand with my whole seed review. But this daily two-in-one treatment works like a toner to balance skin and decongest pores while Bliss's Barrier Aid complex treats skin like a serum with antioxidant rich beta carotene, barrier replenishing ceramide NP, and moisturizing squalene for a nourished radiant complexion. Ooh, I do like squalene, so I'm very happy about this. Packaging is so cute. Oh shoot, am I supposed to shake it? Doesn't say to shake it or not shake it. I think I need, yeah, it's supply with a cotton pad. Do I have any? I haven't really used a cotton pad in so long. Oh, it's kind of thick. I almost feel like I could apply this with my fingers, but I'll go ahead and do as the directions say. It absorbs kind of quickly into the pad. Very nice. Okay, your guys' battery is dying again because I didn't fully charge it, so I'll be right back. Got a little bit more juice, but I'm going to go in with their Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer concentrate. I'm going to do this fast before this thing dies. Ooh, I like the packaging. But it has a little diagram on the side to show you how this works all together. And it says just massage onto clean skin. Oh, this innovative moisturizer concentrate delivers superior long-lasting moisture, helps strengthen the skin's natural protective layer, and support a healthy microbiome. It infuses the rich hydration of a mask in a potent yet weightless layer while Bliss's barrier complex infuses same stuff that the other one does <laughs> for petal soft skin i'm like crap i don't know when you guys are going to time out so we're gonna go through this quickly Ooh, it's nice and th okay so we're in the downstairs bathroom because that's where i charge my batteries for some reason but i just put the moisturizer on it's really thick which is really nice and feels super good on the skin like it feels super nourishing and my skin feels like really hydrated and moisturized so we love that in a moisturizer but anyways okay i'm gonna let both these batteries freaking charge so i'll see you guys later <laughs> don't you worry about me baby i have everything i need if you care about me baby tell me why you chose to leave do you really think you know me do you think you have me all figured out Yes, I was. Oh, let me put my stuff in the back. All right. Here's Michelle. Hi. We're shooting today, as I've told you guys. But first, we are heading to the mall. Michelle has a return, and we just, we want to, as of right now, try on some sunglasses. I some think it's crazy. I don't think sunglasses. it's crazy, but I also think it's crazy that, like, we, I don't know if you talked to me about it, because obviously I don't have the best memory, so, but I think it's funny that we both want the same thing. Yes, yes. But exactly. also not weird. But I was like, what are the odds that, like, I never look at like this particular item and think anything yeah. of it and then I was like I want this yeah she like we were texting yesterday and I forgot how we got on the subject of sunglasses but she was like oh we were talking about Coachella outfits yes and yeah we were talking about Rachel's outfits and yeah. then we started talking about her stuff, you were, stuff you were getting for Cabo and, I, yeah. and then I was like you know what I want for Cabo these sunglasses yeah and then I was all like wearing. dude I literally have those saved I'm saving up for those right now yeah. like I have like I like I have an envelope of cash that I've just been like putting That's in smart. for those sunglasses. That's smart. So, because <laughs> pay with like cash, it's like it didn't so happen. Right? Exactly. Well, I, I like to save with cash, and then yeah. I'll put it in my card for yeah. when I go. I don't like to carry cash to the store, but like, yeah, because like yeah, if I withdraw like a few bucks here, a few bucks there, like, and yeah. just put it away. Like, I don't notice as much. Yeah. That's how I save up a lot of the times for my designer bags, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one in the beginning of this year, because trips, I mean, worth it. There's, there's so, obviously a lot of people getting married. Yeah, so, like, so, you know, some designer sunglasses instead, you know, sa saving yeah. money, yeah. essentially. <laughs> Basically the tax. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we both want these same sunglasses. So yeah. I'm excited. Weird. I hope they oh, have. I them forgot you have to try them. Huh? I hope they have. Um, I hope so too. So we try them. But on. also at the same time, if we try them on, are we? I don't know. Are we actually gonna leave without them? Like I don't know. I I keep telling myself. I was like, the fact that I have a return that's half the cost. I know. Of the sunglasses, I was like, 
and I've already saved up for like a little over half those own classes. So I'm like, and then I'm and I have like a commission check. I for sure will get another commission check. I got a huge commission check. Thank you so much to whoever bought Saint Laurent bags for me. I <laughs> god damn. Your, <laughs> bags are, your bags will pay for designer sunglasses. I know exactly. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah. And I see you. Thank you. You know what too though? Like in the green scheme of things, like if we were to get them today, you know like <laughs> everyone's at Coachella spending a fuck ton of money. Like yeah. that would be like a spending a fraction of the money everyone else is spending. Oh, absolutely. so like, like all the outfits they had to do and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And I still have another like bathing suit set that I need to return from Target. Look I have that. an Abercrombie return that I need to do from <laughs> and Target. And got clothes to sell to Crossroads. And I literally have like two, oh that didn't turn right. No. Two bags worth and then I got a bunch of clothes yesterday uh -huh. and Nate's rule for me because my closet's been an issue for a while. Our house is like spilling with clothes. It's just, he's, he's like every time you get bags. new stuff, give rid of some old stuff that you haven't yeah. worn in like a year. And I'm like, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely have, I have like a lot of shoes that are like not worn. Shoes take up so much space. Like, and it's something I always forget to clean out. I know. And then like when I finally do, it's great. When I finally do remember, yeah, I'm like, oh my God, this is just like a ton of space that I've just cleaned out. Yeah. And shoes are so hard to like store nicely where yeah. I like to see my shoes. Like, exactly. So I don't forget. I will not remember that no. I have you. Yeah. Yesterday, okay, I don't know why. Well, because I'm packing for my trip. Oh. I was like, I'm returning a bathing suit at Abercrombie. Basically, I shopped at Abercrombie. They oh. didn't have a sale. And then I, I wanted oh, yeah. to buy the stuff in store because I'm going on a trip this week and it said that the clothes wouldn't come till afterwards. So I was like, okay, I'll just go in the store and get them because I really wanted these one pair of jeans. So then they had this huge discount like the next yeah, day. Yeah, and she was rude and told me about it. And I'm so... so I bought those two Abercrombie, <laughs> the jeans and the shorts I showed you guys yesterday. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Sorry. <laughs> so I was like, so I bought the exact same items, and I was like, if they happen to come before, great. If not, I'll wear the stuff that I bought and then return the stuff yeah. that didn't come. Well, it all came on time, which is great. They so then, delivered so fast. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, okay, cool, because they have had moments where they've taken like two, three weeks or longer to ship to me, so I just wasn't sure. So grateful that I got on time, but now I get to return all that stuff in store, and I was trying on the bathing suit yeah. that I bought that I like yeah. and then I started trying out all my bathing suits that I have uh -huh. and I was like it was like shopping my own closet I was like I forgot about you yeah like, oh, so wow. like why why keep the new one so like, well I am gonna keep it because it oh. fits me nicely it's oh, probably the you, best fitting but I'm gonna return the, the wait is it not the target one you just mentioned the target one I am gonna return okay that's what I'm yeah I, I was like I don't I don't need this okay. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I already have the one there's no there's no reason to to keep the target one and the target one didn't fit me it was like ill fitting but like there was some ones I just assumed that I was this a different size yeah. so I just assumed my bathing suits didn't fit and so yeah. I tried on like two and I was like hey <laughs> I think they look all right I like to <laughs> you tell, know not bad I like to um so I have this like joke with my friend Kayla uh -huh. and it's like we do, were talking about where our bodies are at now and like our confident level and I was like I would say like I'm like a five six now with my body as far as like how I like it and I was like like a low six high five okay and then I was like you know what low six sounds negative so I'm just gonna say I'm a high five <laughs> so, <laughs> so now it's lower it's lower but positive. it sounds so I got bathing suits the other day and I was texting her I was like hey bathing suits 10 out of 10 I was like me high five <laughs> <laughs> so that's my new that's like my thing that I've been saying or, so whenever I'm like I want to do like a, you can say like a 6.2 yeah oh I'm like yeah, I'm a low yeah, six two. Six. yeah but so yeah when we were talking I was like oh low sounds negative so I'm yeah. just like a high five sounds more I like positive that. I like it it's kind of like $7.99 sounds better than $8. It's yeah. Same exactly. thing, but more yeah. promising. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> like literally a penny difference. But you're yeah. Like, Ooh. And I'm like, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm a high five. If we go in there and we want the sunglasses, should we like negotiate? What about like $3.99.99? What about like if we both get them? <laughs> like two for one deal. Can we get a discount? <gasps> oh my God. What if we both walk out today? We are supposed to not, but again, you know, everybody's at Coachella. Like, do we not deserve some fun? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because like 
I already think these things, and Sarah just is. <laughs> I like, just say that. Sarah's like the only person who's reconfirming. Like, I have other friends who are like, do you really need that? And I'm like, I don't know what kind of relationship you think that we have, but you cannot comment on my shopping habits because we just don't. It's we the aren't same. in the same place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when Sarah's like, we deserve it. I'm like, we do deserve, <laughs> we deserve it. Deserve it. I just needed so someone much. else to say it. <laughs> <laughs> also, when was the last time you bought anything designer for yourself? Uh, I have never. I've never bought anything designer. Maybe. Right? I don't think so. I have Not Gucci. I, I actually have Gucci sunglasses. I know that you own designer things, but like that yes. you bought. Yeah, I have Gucci that sunglasses. That you treated yourself to. Probably the last thing that I bought myself was um, those boots that I bought. Which one? Oh shoot, you should have turned back there. Okay. Um, well, I don't know how full the garage is going to be today. Actually, I'll just park my garage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to say it was the... Um, God, I can't even remember the name of the boots now. Like the, I don't remember. Oh, that way. Oh, God. Myself. <laughs> Where are you going? We're going just all the way around. <laughs> We're going to tour the South Coast Plaza parking it's area. It's right <laughs> Everybody had them. It was like 2015. Okay, so, so it's that's been a the while. last time I bought myself. <laughs> I mean, that just answered the question. Yeah. Then. It's been a while. Time-wise, it's been at least five, seven years. Holy smokes. 2015 was so don't you not deserve it and i think so. it's also my <laughs> wedding year i can wear these on my honeymoon exactly i'm going no one else is going <laughs> so yeah so also how many friendship louis have you passed up for us <laughs> like this, know, is Sarah, a, this is a bargain for friendship <laughs> Sarah's like, for, what about this for i know friendship I'm, designer thing i there's this prada bag that i've been wanting and um I thought it would be under two grand, and then I looked it up. It was twenty. I can't believe 50. that, and it looks like it looks like the one that I want, and the one that I want is a grand. Like I thought it would like, be like. I mean, granted, the one I want is nylon, but still, yes. like, like that was like a sixteen hundred dollar difference. I, I thought it would be like eighteen. Yeah, totally. And I was like, okay, this will definitely pop. under two grand. Yeah. So, yeah, turn up here. I didn't know where we wanted to park. I'm trying to look at the other side to see if there's anything open. If you this go down. parking structure gives me like PTSD it's like from everybody here. fucking parked so close here. You guys, I'm spilling out of this top. <laughs> like it's bad. This just this top, like I barely squeezed into it. <laughs> Like, we're making this work. I put it on last night after I had had, like, three tacos and a protein <laughs> shake. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to have to return it. The protein shake is what did it. It totally is. Yeah. But no, I was able to get it on, but just barely. So yeah. I was like, okay, okay, let me try this in the morning. Oh, yeah. it's like if you turn around this way, there's a few spots. Over there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's a couple that are pretty okay. wide open. Yeah, so just go up and around. Okay. But, yeah, I was like, okay. Oh. So oh. if I was able to close it... <laughs> <laughs> with the tacos and the protein shake should when fit. I wake up tomorrow on an empty stomach after having digested everything I think we can do this yeah and I'll talk you want to hear how ballsy I am with this top right now I'm in low-rise jeans but the Amber Crombie low-rise oh, jeans okay, so, so they're like mid-rise mid mid-rise <laughs> mid yeah you know what though okay. if Abercrombie can pull off saying that's low rise right I commend them because right. I really don't want to go I lower actually, like I'm a fan it feels nice to not have the like band up against like my stomach right where I eat you know yeah, that's kind of nice so it the is, ones I'm wearing right now nice. are I went up a size uh -huh. I've had them for a while yeah but they like sit a little bit lower yeah 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 so like they're comfy yeah I did that with my dad jeans my high-rise dad jeans so yeah. they they just kind of like sink on my hips yeah oh god these sticky pads are so sticky uh -huh. yeah like how cute is this store now? There is a top that I want to see if they have. Okay. I bought it and I think it's too big. I just okay. I want to see if they have it in a small. I got it in a medium. You know what their store reminds me of? What? Um, J. Crew. It does yeah. feel like J. Totally. But I like the makeover. Like it's not a dark cavern and cologne isn't attacking my nostrils. Exactly. So. The one that I went to when I got Ooh, this was cute. Cute. That's a cute Easter dress. It is very cute. Yeah. You want to try them on first? I'm going to try on Jessica's really quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try on Jessica's. <laughs> oh my god, I really love these. These are eh. Wait, are these? The, these are not the same. Are they? No, they're not. They're not. So, the guy at Bottega claimed the sunglasses we like didn't come in the color that we like, but we know that they do. I have a picture of it. Yeah, she has a picture of it. I looked it up online. On her website. Yeah, I also like, I literally looked it up online when I was checking to see if that store carried those sunglasses. Yeah. So we're gonna go check Saks. Yeah. We'll see.
classy. And just like, we just want to try it on in the color, yeah. you know? All right, they don't even have the style. Boo. That sucks. Like this one's close, but that's not it. Yeah. So clearly sunglasses were a fail. I mean, we had to try on the style. Yeah. But not in the color we wanted. And I did find them online. They fucking exist in the gold. I don't know why he's telling us that they don't. I think he just like one didn't know what he was talking about. Like, here's the thing. You and I have both worked retail. Yeah. We both worked in very nice retail. Yeah. Like worked with designer. Yeah. So it's like the person who's working in a store is just like everyone else, just another person. I think that when I was younger, I used to think the people who worked in those stores were like elite or mm -hmm. like new more. They don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're some of them are making, you know, minimum wage. Like yeah. it's just like, you know, like it was like I a doubt job. they're making minimum wage. Not in Bottega. Bottega. Yeah, non Bottega. Yeah. But like if you're like for me, like That's I was commission. making is it? It has to be commission. How do you make just commission off of those stores no, in the society? Not that just like commission, a, but I oh, mean like they, oh, they're, for sure. they're making commission. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, so why wouldn't you do your best to look it up and like yeah. make sure? I think that like he was just trying to like, I don't think that he wanted to go above and beyond and help yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's what I got annoyed about. Yeah. Was like, Cause I'm like, dude, you don't understand. Like we actually, there's a, good chance if yeah. you have them we yeah. might actually fucking get them today. Yeah. You'd sell two pairs. Yeah. And like he didn't seem that helpful the second we walked in. Honestly. No. I almost wish I would have like asked someone so, else. Yeah, exactly. But I mean I remember working in designer when uh -huh. I was younger and I didn't care. Because yeah. I was like I don't make a lot of money here whatever. So like that could be the my I tried to be like put myself in mm -hmm. his position. Maybe he doesn't care. Um, but Maybe. I was like but also. I don't know. I personally did put a lot into it because yeah. I wanted to make as much commission as possible. See, and for me, I would I was offer like, to like order it, whatever yeah. I could do. There were times I've had I had stuff messengered. Wow, like yeah, I wanted that commission. Yeah, it just I think it just all depends like on the person. Because I, but for me, I was like, oh, like this is just a job that I have because I'm focusing on like this and that and school yeah. and other things, and I just didn't care. Which in hindsight. I wish I would have yeah. because I probably could have made really good money. Yeah. But like, I feel like, you know, I was working at Saks. So it was mm. like, I was just having a good time with all the girls there. Like yeah. I just wanted to go out. Like that's kind of the mindset. But like, I feel like when you're working specifically in a designer store, it's, I don't know. I feel like that's different. And you're, I feel like they take the time to teach you like for Louis Vuitton. Oh, absolutely. Every single time I purchased designer. Yeah. Like, when I got my wedding shoes, they were custom and like the guy was constantly updating me on the status of them. Yeah. And then even after I bought them, like I still got like cards from the store up to like a year later of like, mm. we hope you enjoyed it or like, yeah, you know, stuff like that. That's very nice. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like when it's like specifically a designer store and like that person yeah. is for that, it's, it's different. Like I remember like Louis Vuitton, like mm -hmm. in the store, like I remember they would even take the time to teach not just the people who worked specifically just in their little like area but they yeah. would teach the people the rest of us on the floor yeah so that way if we sold one we knew what we were talking about yeah so the fact that he was like oh yeah no they changed the shape of those when they changed the color I'm like that makes no, no sense it doesn't at all. I don't feel like you wanted to help us yeah it's just like the level of service wasn't there like remember when when I got my first Louis bag like yeah how, how great the service was that was wonderful and even like when I got this one even though I was like in a rush I literally got there the second the store opened I was like hey I want this bag like, yeah I like literally was like yeah. I need this bag I know you guys have one left like even then even though it was a rushed transaction yeah she was still so nice she still took the time with me yeah. and stuff like he just kind of was there. I don't know if it's because we were looking at sunglasses that he was like, Ugh, I'd rather help someone who's getting a bag. But there's not a, that many other people in the store. That's what I was, I was like, like, I don't know. I'm just and like, like, with that like level with designer, they're usually, it doesn't matter. You, like totally. everyone gets the same service because you never know what that person's gonna like come back and buy. And exactly. also like with designer stuff, it's about building a relationship with your customers that they like, come back and buy from yeah, you. Yeah, building that rapport. Yeah. So totally. I was a little hey, I might have come back, you know. Maybe not. Yeah. But right? maybe you never know. You could have got us two sunglass sales. Yeah. Exactly. Like even if he had been like Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like 
I, I don't know. Yeah, that was not the best experience. No. And the lady, we were looking for a while, and that guy was talking to someone else, yeah. and there was a lady at the register uh -huh. who didn't, like, she was, saw us, but didn't acknowledge us at all, yeah. and I thought maybe she would see that he was talking to someone else, and yeah. we had been looking for a little bit. Yeah. And that she would, like, is there something in particular you're looking for? Exactly. No one said anything. Exactly. Or, hey, can I order those for you? Yeah, I know. That's what I was, like, as I saw him start getting on his iPad after he talked to us, so I thought maybe he was, like, looking, looking up the sunglasses and might offer to, like, order them into the store for us to try, and, yeah. like, he didn't say anything else. Like, not one word to us yeah. again. Like, you got better service at the at perfume counter yeah. at um, Bloomingdale. Yeah. Like, Michelle got a perfume that she may want to use for a wedding. Like, she yeah. had a full little sample bottle. Yeah. And the girl was so nice about it. And she wasn't even telling me, like, buy it today. She said, come yeah. next weekend, because next weekend is when we have a sale. Yeah. And I was like... Exactly. Pfft. Like... And I remembered her name. Mm hmm So, yeah, that was just... Yeah. Out of all the designer stores that I've shopped at, that one was the most disappointing. That's sad. Yeah. I think my favorite experience is Louie, because they assign you to... A sales associate and the sales associates are like so knowledgeable and they really like do nice. their best yeah. to give you a really good experience. Saint Laurent, they're pushy. That's the only thing I don't like. But when you are purchasing, the, like the experience and service is really nice. Oh, actually, I think my favorite might have been Dior. That was that, I wasn't there. That was a beautiful experience. Yeah. That was a great birthday. Yeah. <laughs> um, like I forgot about Dior. Yeah, I know because it's such a small thing. But even then, it was such a small thing yeah and I told them right off the bat I'm only here for a bracelet and yeah. even then like they gave me the same service they would have yeah. given to someone who was purchasing a handbag yeah or Which something is, like is a bracelet the same as the sunglasses or is it more? a little bit less oh a little bit less yeah I don't know why I thought the bracelet was like almost eight hundred dollars no I would not have bought these two together if this you're was right I thought, yeah that's so true oh my god I forgot I'm flattered that you I don't know why I thought that I just thought that right now I was like is it like 800 bucks? No, this is like 350, 375. Yeah. That's crazy. That. I totally thought it yeah. was more. No, 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 no. But yeah, like even that, she took her time with me, yeah. gave me some other options besides the one. Like she knew I was only gonna get one, but she's yeah. like, oh, I'd like, she even said, like, I know that you're only looking to get one, but here's some similar ones in case you want to think about it. And yeah. she's like, she literally, I didn't feel rushed at all. She wanted me to try everything, make sure I really loved it. And then, like, when she took my card to charge me for it, mm -hmm. she sat me down in their lounge, brought me oh. a water. Oh, my God. It was, like, the most amazing experience ever. Gosh. I was just like, wow. And this is you know what's beautiful. funny is we can, like, spend that same amount, like, online. Yeah. And yeah, and like, like that's that was like a disappointing part because we we know the sunglasses are online. Yes, but like it's like you almost don't want to buy something that's that much online because you are paying for the service. So yeah, it like sucks to not get it in person. Yeah, and I would have really loved that experience. To like I know buy it and like walk out. I, I feel like I would have loved outfit. for us to have like done that today uh. because like. How many times are we always like, oh, we want to get like friendship Louis yeah. bags and stuff? Yeah. And, like, There's a store called Elise Walker that carries designer mm -hmm. in Violito, uh, yeah. where we go. And so, and I have a friend that I used to work with at Saks, is a stylist there. Yeah. So, so we'll see. And she's always like promoting like the new stuff that's like when I'm on her Instagram, she's always like, oh, we just got this in, you know, we just got this in. So, like, maybe. Yeah. Second outfit, we've already shot one on this dress from. This is from Shein. Shoes are shoe dazzle. Sorry, oh my gosh. If my underwear showed, <gasps> I will cut that clip. But yeah, shoes are shoe dazzle. Here, point you guys down. I think you guys can see. And then I'm gonna shoot it with my Louis. <sighs> but it's so crowded today. We have to park in a lot that we're normally, we normally don't park in. And it says like if you leave the property they'll tow you but like we're confused on where the property for this parking lot ends because it seems like this area is just like one big center but then it could also seem like this particular strip is its own area so we're just not sure where the property ends when, when they say if you leave the property you'll be towed but we're just shooting really quick and coming right back to the car so right now we don't have a problem but the issue is going to be when we go to have lunch it's on the other side and that parking structure is full so we're like where do we even park for that moving along quickly yeah. i haven't been vlogging while we're shooting but i'm already in my third look i changed right after my second look because the wind was blowing so much it's my last outfit super comfy that urban outfitters sweatshirt 
cotton on white shorts, Nikes, and then I'm gonna shoot my Louis and my Ray-Bans. I think I wanna shoot this over by the water. I'm just feeling it with this. Also, it's gonna be cooler over there. I'm a little bit warm. So we grabbed some Starbucks because we saw police in the lot and we we're like, well, let's go grab some Starbucks. <laughs> they definitely had nothing to do yeah, with the they were, Yeah, they were there for Starbucks. Oh, we were scared we were gonna get towed, but we did see that the lot full sign is gone from the structure, so we're gonna try to park in here. Just so that we don't have to keep stressing about whether or not we get towed in yeah. that other lot. It, yeah. I see people Stressful. coming out Yes. Too, so. Yeah, I think it's like the lunch people are leaving now and that's why spots are Damn, open. it's $9 for one hour. Fucking A. Might as well be. Well, I think that they're, we get validated. Yeah. Does it say? Yeah, to our validation. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was like, damn. We're good. So I guess your third hour. We'll get validated at Zinke. Yeah. But, oh my gosh, why is it so dark? Oh, crap. Yay! Okay, you guys, my battery fucking died in this, and Michelle had an extra Canon battery, and then as she handed it to me, she's like, I really hope it's charged, and I was like, oh my god. If it's not, I'm gonna be so upset. Luckily, it was. Yeah, thank God you had another Canon battery. Thank God. That's why I was like, when you're like, oh, my battery died, I was like, I have a Canon too. They're probably the same battery. Oh, thank God. Don't let me forget to give it back to you yeah. before I leave. Yeah. I don't know. It's so hard for me to get words out right now. I think I was just so stressed from all that situation. Yeah. I was well, telling her, as soon as we got into the parking structure, I was like, wow, I feel so much less stressed, though. Yeah, because. It, we just kind of felt like rushed and yeah. then I don't I hate being rushed yeah just because I'm worried about something. totally so luckily mm -hmm. we're in the parking structure we don't have to like yeah and keep we take our time yeah and not like try to like rush across the street I'm totally worried. and then we're right by so where we're eating sense. so we're right there like now we can relax it's gonna take us like what five yeah. minutes to shoot each of these and pass that just yeah and I just need to come back and change into yeah. my eating outfit yeah excuse me sorry I was pooping but yeah, we got some drinks. Drinks. Mm-hmm. And I had a Starbucks gift card. Yeah, Sarah got me my drink. Yeah. It was very nice. Oh, thank I, you for driving me. Because I, I have no car. And luckily, I'm so upset. We can continue mm -hmm. vlogging. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to turn this off so I don't keep using all the battery. Oh. All right, and that's a wrap on shooting. Dad, we're gonna go get lunch and then we do want to check out Elise Walker. We'll see. I doubt that they'll have the sunglasses, but we'll see. But we're gonna head to Zinke. It's a super, super trendy restaurant. Everyone, all the bloggers who come to LA and Orange County always go to Zinke, but we've been going to Zinke for years every single time we come here, so I feel like we were ahead of the trend on that one. But yeah, we're gonna get some food and then Elise Walker is our last hope for the sunglasses. <laughs> The things we do Day, night, late night Just me and you yeah. Everything that you put me through Everything that I've been feeling Do you feel it too? Because of you, you, you I've got a head that's full of doubt Oh no Why? You turn your back on me I tried To make you so happy But I got done eating we're gonna head to elise walker last attempt yeah. <laughs> for these fucking sunglasses <laughs> that we're not buying i knew that you were thinking about it yeah i knew that you were thinking about it i knew that you were thinking about it okay no sunglasses <laughs> Man, we were even oh, looking at man. me and Marcus's site to see if they like even carried them at all. Yeah. No. Because like Fashion Island's down the street. <laughs> yeah. What else is at Fashion Island? Do they even have a Bottega? <laughs> no. Like actual Bottega store is just here in LA, I think. That's lame. I know. Bottega, more stores. Also stock your sunglasses better. Yeah, what the hell? In store. We are willing and somewhat able <laughs> somewhat able to, to like we shouldn't but we can and we yeah. could <laughs> and we will, <laughs> and we, will. <laughs> we were also talking about like some of her bachelorette trip plans and i yeah. was like oh my god should we wear our bottegas on that <laughs> Like want them oh, even we, more now I know. because i can't find them we went on a literal hunt all day <laughs> Just like, uh, yeah, like we've run out of options. I don't even know. Like online. And I wanted, to, I wanted to buy them and 
and walk out with them. I know, I know. Because like we said, like the service like is to do it together. Hard. I know. Oh, rude. I'm mad that that so guy lied to us too. I'm I like call store and say, hey, I'm looking for these sunglasses. Yeah. Watch you get him on the phone. <laughs> Do you think we could order them and then have them delivered to the store? Oh, absolutely. They'll do that. And then we can go in the store. And then if we don't <laughs> like them. Yes. I'm sure that we, we can. can. <laughs> we can leave them. <laughs> that sounds like a fun uh, Knowing our luck, though, we'd call and we'd get that guy. And he'd be like, no. They actually don't come in that <laughs> color. They Liar. Change Liar. I'm a little bitter. <laughs> I'm so bitter. I'm he was so not helpful. Like I was like, I've me, never. I'm definitely not life. gonna get them. Like probably not. And now I'm like, I. Where are they? <laughs> I was about to charge my card. Yeah. Today we went into Elise Walker and they don't carry Bottega no. sunglasses. They have Bottega maybe they, bags. Maybe they will now. now. Now that you've asked. Now that I've asked, I was like, I also got a job offer. <laughs> she did. She literally did. <laughs> <laughs> Walks out of the store without sunglasses, but with the job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So funny. Yeah, we might have to. Oh, I don't want to get them online, though. I don't want to get them That's online either. The ruins half the fun. And they don't this have to Nordstrom's. Did you check Nordstrom's? I didn't. Let's check Nordstrom's. I can't remember if Nordstrom carries Bottega. If any Nordstrom does, it would be South Coast, which we were just at, of course. <laughs> We were back in like raggedy clothes compared to earlier. <laughs> we were just so nice. I know. We literally went in to day. Elise Walker, which is like all designer, and we walk in and I'm like, I am like a hot mess. Hey, my outfit got complimented. No, though. yeah, you look great. She has a Louis with her like matching sweater and cute shorts. I'm literally like just a mess. <laughs> with her, with her with my fake. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you see a real Bottega. <laughs> Bottega, Bottega, okay, like not even close. There you go. Like it's just literally, and the it's not even that big. Yeah. She picked up the like the real Bottega, and she's like, "I wonder if this feels better." I'm like, "Yes, Michelle, it will feel better." <laughs> I was like, "Does this feel?" Yes. Oh, soft butter bag. Yes. Oh hey, mine God. was twelve bucks. <laughs> that is very true. Bottega. And you know, from from like really far away. And if you like blur the camera a little bit, you can if you do this. <laughs> okay, they have the sun they have sunglasses. But do they have the sunglasses? What's the actual name of them? So Rival put flat top, but then over at Bottega he was calling them the Bond sunglasses. Is it? No. Those are the fake yeah, those ones he tried to sell us. Oh we go back, go back. That no, that's no. not even them. No. Is it this one? That's the wrong so the bond is the wrong style. Oh, it's, so he's a liar. It is the flat top. Bottega Veneta Aviator style. So he, yeah, the glasses he he literally called the wrong glasses the wrong name. Yeah, exactly. He didn't know what the hell he was talking about is basically it. Can you tell that we're upset? <laughs> we're so upset right now. They're not even called the aviators. No, everybody has like a different name for them. Okay, that's not that's cool. That's what's making them so difficult. Cause yeah, look, Revolve, Bottega, Banana, Flat Top, Golden Gray. Can Revolve just restock these? Bergdorf's? Is there a Bergdorf's anywhere near here? I don't think so. I always think that that's like... I can't coast. even find the glasses by that name. Yeah, exactly. I'm really sad that... And then on Bottega's site, it's just classic. What? No wonder we can't find these damn sunglasses. They don't have a name. Men, maybe they are men's sunglasses. I think they are. Most stores will put all men and women's sunglasses like together for the most part. I'm sad. I know. I am too. So close. Yet so, so far, far away. Far. Yeah, like you can't even find, like I can't, don't even know what the name is. That's all I had for on the website. I don't know why it doesn't have a like real regular fucking name. Ortega, yes. do you want us to buy these or not? <laughs> so these are them. Just I don't know if you We didn't get to see. the guy wouldn't like let us take a picture of us trying in, them on. In gold. They were perfect. Is what we're looking for. Are they still sold out on Revolve? Yes. Right I just now? looked. Oh yeah. you can only find them on Bottega's website. Yeah the other Bottegas are in LA. Yeah. There's only Costa Mesa and mm -hmm. then Melrose and Rodeo. And they close soon. <laughs> <laughs> We're 
are we gonna drive? <laughs> no, it just says it closes soon. We close at six. <laughs> That's ten minutes from now. <laughs> we wouldn't make it. <laughs> you walking into Bottega like this. <laughs> Lame. That was a that was a bummer. We should have just gone for Prada bags today. This one that would have been so much less disappointing. <gasps> they didn't have a they didn't have a big selection. Right, of, I'm looking at the right ones. Right, that's, that's her. Cool and then yeah, yeah. <sighs> but anyways, worst designer experience. I'm, I'm like, so sad. Shopping designer. I would have experience. loved to buy them from Andrea. Yeah, I know. I would buy Andrea to my it. wedding reception. Do it. Yeah, she's on my list. There you go. Yeah. Andrew, if you're watching. <laughs> I need your address. Should be watching yours. I'm like, <laughs> or should be just watching yours. Like, I feel like people are like, oh, I feel like I know you. And I'm like, they probably see your videos. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Hi, Michelle's friends, if you're watching. <laughs> Hi, all five of you. <laughs> <laughs> including myself. <laughs> including my mother. There's three. Hi, Sylvia. <laughs> <gasps> my mom's right. like, what is Bottega? Happy Easter, you guys. I just got ready, obviously. I really do like my makeup today. I think it came out really good. But getting ready to go head out to Easter lunch with my family. Trevor was working this morning, so they switched it to lunch instead of brunch so that he could come. But dress is boohoo. I actually shot this outfit before, but I just love this little sundress. And it ties on the top, if you guys can see jacket is from Shein. It's this cropped like deep beige leather jacket. I really really love it. And then shoes are Shein. These are like those thong heels. They were in a few years ago but they're actually really comfortable to walk in so I decided to go with them just because we may have to park a little bit ways away and then walk to the restaurant. So just in anticipation of that I went with comfier heels and then just gonna bring my bag. I was gonna switch it, but I'm like, I just might as well leave it. So that is the outfit for today. But right now I'm just waiting on Trevor and once he gets here, we'll head out. My family's already at the restaurant, but because my car is not working, I have to wait for Trevor to come get me. I made a swap to these shoes from Shoe Dazzle because they're actually just more comfortable to walk in. They're actually really, really comfortable because it's a platform. It doesn't feel like that much of a heel when I have it on. So just figured that was going to be a little bit more stable since it has the chunkier feel. Thinking about it. I knew that you were thinking about it. Sometimes I miss you in the evening. Okay, I'm stuffed, but we're going to go get ice cream. <laughs> Why are you such a butthole? I'm, I'm excited. Not. We haven't gone to get ice cream in a while. I only have had ice cream in middle Yeah, East first off, because you seven, can't. Eight months? Yeah, and then second off, if I'm going to have ice cream right now, I just usually have like a frozen Greek yogurt bar. God, I can't. Well, you already had steak and uh, lobster today. You might as well just take the day. You know, treat yourself. It's Easter. Yay! I'll just do a single scoop of the mint chocolate chip. Yeah, thanks. So we apparently started a trend. There's literally no one in there. And then as she's making Trevor's milkshake, literally like two families came in. So we lucked out. I just got a single scoop Hold mint on. chocolate chip. Oh, oh guys. Oh, yeah, I just wanted a single scoop. I just want like a little bit of ice cream. I haven't had real ice cream in so long. Like I said, it's all been like frozen Greek yogurt, which honestly does taste like ice cream, but Sometimes you just want fast and rocks, you know? So deceiving. Now I know that I'm the only one I can believe in. I was the one that you didn't appreciate. You really knew me front and back like a license plate. Now I'm hitting ignore when you call me late. Cause I already know you're gonna say why. I won't pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Won't you come back to me? I'll try.